Hey guys, it's Five here with episode number 20 of the Fulham career on FIFA 22. That is right, we are staying at Fulham despite interest from Manchester United. In the previous episode, we will be staying here. Some comments on screen. Uh, kind of staying, going. Some people wanted us to stay, some people wanted us to go. And I think there was a good comment as well. Maybe checking back at the end of this season because we're having a pretty successful season so far with Fulham. So yeah, maybe looking at the end of the season, what jobs are available, and maybe moving on then. But for right now, we're sticking with Fulham till at least the end of this season. So uh, I do apologise if you wanted us to join Manchester United. Maybe the job will still be available at the end of the year. We just have to wait and see what happens here with Fulham. We're actually 1-0 down in this game against Bournemouth. It was a team that came up with us last season. A team, if you remember correctly, I believe it was last January, it might have been just before, maybe just December. Uh, it was Roberts made his debut against Bournemouth and scored four goals against them. Absolutely smashed them. Really, really impressive debut. But it's not going quite that way in this game here because, as you can see, Roberts is playing in this one. But we are 2-0 down to Bournemouth and we've got to try and find a way back in this one as Weber finds Carvalho. Easy shot, should be scoring. Unfortunately, he doesn't, and it is actually going to result in a counter-attack here for Bournemouth Klassen. But he's a lovely ball over the top to Brooks. He's got two men in the middle to aim for, as he just takes the ball down. Looks to go up against his fellow countryman. No, uh, is he? No. Brooks is Welsh. Do apologise there. But Klassen lays it across, and Stanislas is there, and he makes it three goals before 30 minutes. We completely fell apart defensively in this one. Yeah, Brooks is Welsh. Kearney's Scottish. Apologies for that one. But we're going to look to bounce back into this one just a few minutes after doing 3-0 down. We can get this first goal back before half-time. There's a chance that we can get the two back in the second half and maybe end this one as a draw as Dennis is going to put the ball in the back of the net. Bit of shoddy goalkeeping there from the keeper. I think he should have maybe got a stronger hand to that one and palmed it around the post. But we'll take it. We'll take anything at this point. Because it is now 3-1 coming into the second half. We've got a whole 45 minutes to try and get back into this one. I'm going to have another chance here as Perez, working up from the back, finds Max Ahrens. We've got a couple of options, obviously. We have Weber, Dennis and Saar, all of which goal-scoring options off the bench. Obviously, Roberts is uh, in the pitch right now, but Dennis does make it 2 Goals back. He's got two goals in this game, so we just need that one last goal. And we've got all the time in the world to try and get that one back. But just three minutes after making it 3 2, we're going to look to come down this end again as Kearney into Weber. Weber sees the run being made by Carvalho, but he's going to just stick it alone down this left hand side as he just tries to bide his time. He plays it into Dennis, looking for the hat trick, and he secures the hat trick before the hour mark. So they went up within half an hour. We've got back within half an hour, and now there's 30 minutes left in this game for us to try and win it and to try and get the three points in this one. As Robinson, down this left-hand side, Weber's been a menace all game in this side, and he's looking to do it again as he cuts inside, loads of goals, strikes, and unfortunately is denied by the goalkeeper. But yeah, since that half an hour mark, we have woke up We've made a couple of changes. We've brought on Delap. We've brought on Ismaili Saar. And a nice little run here from Weber. Just trying to find a bit of space. Eventually, he's going to look to try and pull the trigger. But instead, he's going to go back outside to the left-hand side. Carvalho finds Robinson. There's two men in the middle to aim for. He finds Ismaili Saar. And our Senegalese winger goes and makes it 4-3. So, for the first time in this game, we are in front. We are in control. And it's an almighty, almighty comeback from ourselves and an almighty bottle from Bournemouth. They were 3-0 up, they were cruising. And in the space of half an hour, we got it back. And now we're just adding to that tally. They give away the ball, Delap finds the ball. He's got one-on-one, -on -one. he strikes it. Unfortunately, he can't get the goal, but Carvalho is there to tuck it into the open net. And our young English attacking midfielder does make it 5-3. And that is going to be the final score of the game. A very, very impressive game. Very impressive game for Emmanuel Dennis getting the hat-trick and the match ball. And somehow, we've just gone and done it again against Bournemouth. We've embarrassed them again. This time, a much I'd say this is more embarrassing than losing. I think it was 6-1 last time out. The fact that we're 3-0 up and we absolutely just 
turned it on like that, flick of a switch, and we win the game quite convincingly in the end. As you can see, Emmanuel Dennis has nine goals this season. Could be on course to break the record set by Mohamed Salah. But we're coming to this one. It's a snowy game. We're in the white kit, and we are have, have used a uh, white ball. So we're just going to show the key highlights in this one. It's a bit of an eyesore, a bit annoying, a bit of a nuisance to try and actually see what is going on. But 26 minutes into this one, Weber is going to float the ball across into the middle. Wilson goes for the scorpion kick. Unfortunately, it's saved, and it goes off Chambers into the back of his own net. Wilson's going to celebrate because why would you? You wouldn't. Why would you not celebrate uh, after scoring a goal? But unfortunately, it goes down as a Chambers own goal, and actually, it takes to the second half for a chance from Crystal Palace as Edouard does tuck it into the back of the net. The French striker, formerly of Celtic. Does get him back into this one, and actually we're going to go to the final few minutes of this game, the final 15 minutes. We try to switch the play, doesn't quite work out, and Yusuf Atal intercepts. Eduard finds his fellow, his fellow teammate. I don't know what I'm thinking there. In Wolf Zaha, his captain, in Wolf Zaha, who finds Atal. We're going to try and play the offside trap because I thought he was going to cross it, and he took a just a little second extra to where I thought he was going to cross it, and we could have caught them all offside, and we could have maybe had a free kick and got it away. He took that extra touch, he saw us move away, he moved forward, they had that obviously then. Everyone was onside unmarked and it did make it 2-1 unfortunately for ourselves. So we do pick up a loss in our first game of December. Coming into this next one though, taking on Leicester at the King Power. Going to look to maybe pick up all three points in this one just to bounce back from the defeat as Wilson charges forward. Going to play it to the in one of the more informed players on our team in is merely Sa, and he hits on his right foot to make it 1-0. He's been really good this game, uh, this uh, this episode, along with Dennis, who's been brilliant this episode. Weber, assists-wise, has been brilliant. He's kind of started slowing down in terms of his goal scoring again. He's got, I think, eight goals, seven assists in this season, so very close to going for the double-double. But 20 minutes into the game, James Madison locks the ball through to Dominic Calvert-Lewin. A really good signing for Leicester they picked up from Everton. But just 20 minutes into the game, we've already had two goals. And uh, unfortunately, our poor defensive efforts have continued. Two goals in the last game, three goals in the game before that. We've already conceded once in this one. And then just before half time, we're going to look to go down the other end. Try and get back in front of the clean run here from Weber. No one's really picking him up. Nice pass actually from Wilson. Well weighted. He's got a couple of men in the middle to aim for. He's going to look to go it alone. Trying to sneak it in at the near post. But Cash Michael not so easily beaten in those kind of areas. And a lovely turn there from James Madison. Oh, sorry. Luke Thomas into Vegos. Vegos through to James Marison. Maris Madison. He then strikes it pure. Strikes it clean. Beats the keeper in Rodak. And we conceded twice again. 2 1 down again. Thankfully, we've got a bit more time in this one, though, to come back in this one with Wilson just past the hour mark. Playing that wide to Weber. Cuts inside back to Wilson. Look at the track this one, maybe on his weaker right foot, but instead cuts back inside to Weber. Weber trying to find a bit of space again, just really struggling to find a space against his compact Leicester defence. Eventually, we're going to knock the ball inside to Dennis on the volley. He tucks it home and he gets another goal in today's episode. And that's actually how this game's going to end a 2 2 draw. Really struggled against Leicester. They played a five at the back and it was a really difficult one to break down. But we're going to get a point from this one where it seemed like we weren't going to get anything. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. If you are, please like, subscribe and peace.